Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. Uh, today we're going to go over merging data sets in Excel using VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. Uh, as always, I've uploaded the exercise file at my website, analyticsforall.org forward slash exercise dash files dash downloads. Uh, if you go to the website, uh, you will find it there under merging data with HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. This green thing right here, just click on that and download your file. Okay, so here's our file. And what you want to imagine is that you work for a service garage. And what you've got here, somebody sent you a file with work order information, dates, the license plate, the service, and the mechanic's name. But the boss, he wants you to be able to run a report to, with the pricing of the work that was done. And he's really big on the employee ID number. I guess that's what's used in the accounting system, and it's not available. So you reach out to some people and somebody will send you it's nice enough to send you a little table here with the pricing for all services so you got that here and they also sent you a table with the mechanics names and their employee IDs okay so how do we get this information into this table without manually typing it in well that's where we're going to use our H lookup and V lookup uh, H lookup and V lookup are lookup tables we, we're going to look at basically another word, look up it in their table and pull information from it. Uh, the V and V lookup references vertical, so we're going to use a vertical lookup. This is a vertically standing table, so this is how we're going to do it for this one. And H lookup stands for horizontal lookup, and we're going to horizontal table. So for, for this table, this mechanic employee ID, we're going to use our horizontal H lookup. Okay, so this is pretty simple to do. Let's just start, go to our table, go up here to the mechanic, and we're going to click, right click, and we're going to insert insert a column and let's just type in there what we want put in here is prices because this is where we want and let's make this a little smaller it's not so big so we did an oil filter change if we look over to our lookup table over here we see it's thirty dollars so I could type that in manually but that could be pretty tedious especially if I've got hundreds and hundreds of files so what we're gonna do is click on this E here right here and type in equal now you notice equal automatically lights up in here. This tells you we're, you're going to be using a function or a formula. So I'm just going to go up here and type. You don't. You can continue typing in the cell if you want, but I like it up here so you can see it a little better. We're going to start with V lookup. Now notice it pops up as a function. You can click on it, and if you can read it, you have tells you what you need to put in there. The first thing and the next thing is looking for the highlighted is the lookup value. The lookup value is the value in your table you want to reference against. So in this case the lookup value is my oil filter, my oil change my service. I click there, I'm going to hit a comma, and then the next thing it wants is my table array. The table it's looking for is our reference table. So you go over here and this is what I want. I want to highlight the whole table. Now once I'm highlighted here, before you move on hit your F4 key. And what that's going to do is, you see these dollar signs? It's going to lock this reference table in place. And I'll show you a little bit later why you want to do this, because otherwise it starts to creep and you have problems. Okay. Next, column index number. This is the column you're looking to return a value from. So luckily, this is a, obviously it's a two column table. By default, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP the either the top or the leftmost column is always the reference column so the return value column you have to tell it so here since we only have two columns obviously number two is our answer then the final one is range lookup and this tells you which you have two choices true or false you have true for approximate match if I was doing like let's say you had a, a grade test and you wanted to say a 90 to 100 is an A an 80 to a 90 is a B so if you get an 86, that's a B. You don't want to have to write in 81, 82, 83, 84. So you'd put a range of 80 to 90, and that's what true would be, because true would give you the approximate match, the range. False is an exact match. Since we have the wording perfectly matched here, we'll just go with false. Okay? Close out our thing, and you'll see 30 now. Oil filter now became 30. Now, if you see that little green dot there on the bottom, the green square in the bottom of this border, if I move my cursor over, my cursor turns to a black cross. If I click and grab down, you notice it automatically populates. And it keeps my V lookup keeps repeating. And you'll notice this number changes. The first number, the D4. If I go here, it's D5. So it's obviously it's referencing what's to the left each time. D7. Uh, 
let's say just a drag down will do it. Uh, if you have a really big table and dragging hundreds and hundreds of columns is a pain, if you just double click that dot, it fills in everything for you. So that's done. Okay. So the only thing left to do with this one is really a formatting thing. Start at the beginning. If you hit Shift Control on the down arrow, it'll highlight everything in your column. And then we're going to hit the dollar sign. And now we have pricing. Okay. There you go. In case you ever saw it, you don't know if you saw that or not, when it got these dot numbers, that means your column isn't big enough to show the range. Just open it up a little. Okay, just a format in here. All right, so the next one we're going to tackle is the mechanic. Okay, we're going to insert here. Uh, entire column. Okay, so mechanic, and we're going to put in the employee ID. Okay, now the employee ID is referenced over here in this table. So we want to be able to get to it. We need to do an H lookup. All right. So we're going to be working here, and we're going to go equals H lookup. You notice it highlights there in the thing. And the lookup value is going to be my mechanic initials here. I'm going to do my comma. And now I'm going to go over to my table here and grab all my, OK? Now, this example, just so I can show you, I'm not going to put my dollar signs. I'm not going to lock it in, so you should, I can show you what goes wrong. Okay, now, number two, it's going to ask for the row index number instead of the column. Same concept. This is the default lookup, so this, we're going to go number two, because that's the values we want to return. I need to return these values here. And last but not least, we're going to do false. Why they chose false as an exact lookup and true as a Approximately, I have no idea. It's always kind of bothered me, but it is what it is. I didn't write the program. Hit enter, and there we are. Okay, so that works. I want to show you something here. Let me drag down a couple. See, I'm getting these NAs. Let me show you why. Let's go over here a little bit and look. Uh, let's see if I can shrink. I'm going to shrink this down so you can see what's going on here. All right, so we go over here and look. Now, watch this. If I sit here in the first cell and I hit this, it highlights in red right there. It shows me this is what I'm looking up. I'm going to the next one. I'm going to highlight this area. Actually, let me escape. So I'm going to go down here and highlight this one. Now look what happens. Notice my red's creeping down. Okay. Same thing when I go here. Look, it's completely out of the range. So that's what happens. That's why you need, as you're going down here, if you don't lock it in, and tell it just keep it the same values, it will start iterating down the rows with you. So we're going to go back here, just highlight it, and hit your F4, and we're good. And we'll do the same thing, and we will just bring it all the way down. Okay, so there we have it. I've now created our table. I've added prices and the employee ID without having to manually write this whole thing in. Okay, thanks for visiting me, and make sure you go to my site, analytics.forall.org. I've got lots of articles and more videos on everything Excel and everything analytics. Look forward to seeing you later.